All right, we're back. We're back. It it feels funny because it's. I feel like we usually wait a week now. So right. like, I feel like we were just here last week or so, or like yeah, yesterday. Like, well, yeah. I mean, I did see you yesterday. I was able to see Teach from the mail room. Oh yeah. Um, he was committing uh, grand arsony on oh, his God. on his porch because I, I was I was in the mail room. I was checking the mail and I went. Uh, I saw Teach because I'm able to see him from the mail room and I was like, Teach. <laughs> And he goes, he's like looking around like, what the fuck? And then he goes, oh, hey, David. And I'm like, what are you doing? He goes, I'm actually burning stuff. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay. I'm not a witness. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> yeah, I'm on my bathrobe and shit, too, because it was hot. Um, <laughs> so, so, a while back, like, like back in Feb- like back in January, um, when I became the director of this Buddhist center, um... <clears throat> the previous director gave me all these old chant books that we had, and they were all just paper, like, reg- oh, this is some of them. Okay. Oh, fuck. So, she said, she actually said to shred them, and I was like, but you're not supposed to shred chants, they're considered sacred, right? Okay. So you really shouldn't shred, you shouldn't throw them away, like, in a, whatever. So I've just been holding on to them, because I just felt weird about shredding them. Um, so, and they actually filled up, like, my trunk, like, I had a ton of them. Oh, wow. Like, a lot. And, um... So uh, last this last program I went to, uh, we received a different text. It's not the same chant. There was just a different text, but because they didn't come in on time, they gave us these. Um, they photocopied them, which you're not supposed to photocopy them either. <laughs> um, but they were like, it's only because it's a. Re- it was like a big program, and they were like, the text didn't. They're still in New York, so we're not going to leave you without the stuff you're here for. That's why you attended this program. So they said we, you know, we did the same next best thing. The text actually came back in very auspiciously towards the end of the program, and we got to receive the real um, book, which is here somewhere. <laughs> but um, anyways, so they said, though, when you... Is it right there? Is it... No. Oh, yeah, this is it. Okay. Yeah, so that's it. And um, so anyways, so they said, okay, a lot of them live... It was in Austin, so mo- it was only three of us from San Antonio. And we were gonna, they had like an f- optional brunch the next day, and they said, well, just bring that copy because you shouldn't have it because now you have the real text, and we're going to get rid of it the right way. I didn't, you didn't have to go to the brunch. I was going to do my week tune on Monday, so I said, I'm just going to go home because I want Sunday to just hang out. Right. So I didn't go. So I kept the text. And I figured I'll just give it to someone here, one of our teachers. And I did. So I gave it to one of my teachers, and I said, I was told they had to get rid of a certain way, so, and you're a Shastri, a teacher, so here you go. She was like, oh, okay, yeah, I can do that for you. She goes, you just have to burn them. That's the, that's the trick. <laughs> she just, they, yeah. have to be, they just have to be burned. And I was like, any kind of something to it? Like, and she's like, nope, barbecue, can fireplace, so just, they should be burned. Not left in trash to rot and not, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. So, finally, I said, when I got home yesterday, I said, okay, I'm, I looked at the big old stack, I had brought them in and said, okay, I'm going to do something about this. So, I went out to the back and I got my fire, my uh, barbecue pit and I just started torching them, right? <laughs> like, and at first, I was just doing a few at a time because they're thick, you know? Right. I know if you just put a big stack, it's not going to light. So, I'm just kind of, and it, God, it was getting smoky as fuck. Like, I was crying, like the smoke was just so much... And eventually I put, I just put the rest of them. I thought it was the rest of them. And of course they go out. So then I get a coal, one of those like hookah coals. And mm-hmm. I light it and I throw it on there. So it'll just kind of like burn it, you know, eventually. And and it does for the most part. But eventually it was just so smoky and like really, really thick. And I was just like, and it smelled so bad like burnt paper. So I put it out and I was like, oh, I'll just deal with it later. So that was around when was that like six o'clock or something? That was, no, seven? that was during yeah. It was after seven. seven. After seven, okay. Because Monday night raw was on. Because it was a commercial. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go check the mail. Oh, okay. So, so that was around seven. So, uh, I had been drinking at the time too. <laughs> <laughs> I think I yelled. At you me. invited me. You're like, yeah. hey, you want a drink? I got Fireball, <laughs> and I was like. Well, um, I'm about to eat dinner and have a... Okay, okay, next time, next time. And I didn't realize today was... I was like, well, tomorrow. And he goes, oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, that's cool. (laughs) So, okay. So, I've been drinking him. And then, I again, I've been out of... I've been sitting in a room (laughs) for the past week, right? So, um... I don't know what I was saying. Oh, I've been... I've, (laughs) uh, 
I've been behind on my schoolwork, so I had I remembered I had something due. It was past due actually. I had to record myself doing a, a little lesson plan like on video. So that this is around ten o'clock, and uh, Mrs. Teach is recording me, and I'm wearing I'm wearing a, a, a blazer with like a collared shirt. And then no pants, just underwear. Because uh, she's just recording the top of me in my in the whiteboard, so they don't know. It's like newscasters. You don't know what the fuck they're wearing under the desk, right? And they're probably drunk, too. So <laughs> so uh, we're having to do a couple takes because I'm kind of drunk, and the little... I'm not really... I haven't... I've been, I was doing it on the fly, so like the little arithmetic, I think I do like five and a half square, and I was like, fuck, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I can't think of five and a half... Yeah, that's it. Um, uh, yeah, and pie and all that. So... So whatever, we're kind of there for a little bit. And all of a sudden, all I hear is, where's the smoke coming from? Where's the smoke coming from? Right? Like, outside. And I was like, smoke? Where's the smoke coming And I tell Mrs. Teach, and I was like, I hear someone talking about smoke. They're probably worried about the smell. And before, before we know it, all we hear is, is everyone all right? Is everyone all right? Oh, no. And we were like... Holy shit! And so Mr. Teach goes and opens. I mean, I'm in a bla- I'm drunk. I'm in a blazer and a collar shirt <laughs> in and your a, underwear. And a fireman comes in. I was like, "You're the reason why there was yes. a fire truck last yes. night." Yes. Oh yeah. my god! Because I was sitting on the couch and I heard it, and I was like, "Man, what the fuck's going on?" Oh, because that's when I was getting ready for bed. I was like, "Yeah, what the fuck's going on?" Because Bulma, my my puppy Bulma, she'll like when she hears the siren, she'll go. Mm. Oh, Mm. And I was like, oh, I was like, damn, something's happening. And, yeah, and, oh. nothing was happening. So, so it, the thing was too is that it was out already, right? It wasn't even. It was the smell was just stuck. Like even I went outside today to smoke a cigarette. I'm so like, it still smells like fucking smoke, right? Like so. Anyway, so a fireman comes in one way, and some other guy. I think it was like a policeman, and then there's people at our patio all up there too and I, I'm in a blazer and underwear like what kind of weird shit do they think we're doing right so I run into the room and I throw some gym shorts and I take the blazer off and I come out and I'm still kind of buzzed and I the guy the policeman the firemen were kind of uh, dicks about it but the guy looked like I don't know he looked like he wasn't wearing a police uniform but he was wearing like a collared shirt anyways he was like what's going on I was like look I'm a Buddhist I go I, we, I have to get rid of these chants and you have to burn them it's just it's part of the religion I throw that in there when I can because people tend to go oh okay okay you know with religion um, so he was like he just kind of smiled and was like okay and the police guy was like not a good idea and I'm like I got scared because I was like we're gonna get fined or something like right but I, I'm like maybe we'll get one in the mail I don't they didn't write it there though so I don't know if it's illegal to burn paper and the and there was someone around too like looking I guess who called I guess and the guy tells you know they're just someone just burning some paper like oh okay just burn some paper okay <laughs> man right like they're the ones concerned uh, well when, when I was so embarrassed I was like I didn't even I was like I'm never leaving this apartment like <laughs> <laughs> I was so embarrassed like that's the whole fucking fire funny. Check. Oh my Dude, god. Dude, because I was sitting on the couch because I, I wasn't even watching Monday Night Raw anymore. It was a boring episode last night. Mm. And I'm just on the couch. Actually, no, I was in bed by now. I was just laying in bed. Um, and I hear Bulma. <laughs> and then you hear. I didn't even hear the fire. And I was train. like. And because, you know, I see it flashing through the window and real uh-huh. quick when it comes by. And I'm all. I'm like, What's going on out there? Yeah. That's fucking uh, hilarious. And the, well, okay, and here's what sucks. Also, there's a big stack of the chants that are still not burnt. <laughs> and I'm like, what am I supposed to do with these now? Like, now I'm really gonna have to throw them away. But I need to burn them, but I have nowhere to burn them. Like, you know, get the cops called on you if you try to burn them. So, if you have some open land and I can burn the chants, <laughs> please let me know. Like- Please, yeah, we'll, we'll work something out. Or if you know, no, you want to know something embarrassing? This is actually a few. Probably now a couple months. No, this happened right before St. Patrick's Day, the night before St. Patrick's Day. So I have a good buddy of mine that uh, and you may have heard the story. Um, he lives, you know, over by the SeaWorld area. Did you hear about the story where people, a bunch of people got arrested for sacrificing animals? Around Halloween? Because I hear that. No, <laughs> it was, it was, the, it was the night, it was St. Patrick's Day Eve, I guess oh. you could say, whatever day St. Patrick fell Oh, on. I was in Austin. Okay, so... And, and so this year, friend, this year, yeah, back in March, yeah. So this person or my my friend, his house, you know, faces the street. The first time we ever went to his house, they told us he goes, man, that you see that house right there? 
but we think they like kill animals or something like there's always a bunch of people in robes and they, they always act really weird and you always hear like an animal crying or something so you're like ah those people were just really creepy well sure enough that house got busted i forgot how many people were in there i think it was seven it was an odd number of people but they got busted they were sacrificing chickens and goats and shit they were sac- I kind of do remember a little bit about So that. yeah, they got busted and they all got arrested and they all they all made it out on bail apparently. It was Santeria though, right? Like the Mexican one? It wasn't like witchcraft. Or it was witchcraft, but it was like the wasn't it? Cuz the chicken is usually I don't know. Something. It was like a mix of white and black people. Oh fuck. <laughs> yeah. It was an odd it was, else. <laughs> it was an odd group of people. So they all got busted and then like um St. Patrick's Day night, we were um, we were in his backyard and uh, we were drinking and we're all I mean we're already drunk because we were drinking all day mm. and I just kept staring at the house and I'm like, bro, I think I see people moving in there. I was like, bro, <laughs> oh, this and they is- had already been busted. <laughs> What's up? They had already been like they were, they were in jail by the time yeah. like they were still in jail at that point. Right. But I was like, dude, I think there's somebody that's left over. Oh my god. Was. I was like, dude, their demons are back. Oh my yeah. god. I was all freaking out, all tripping out. But yeah, that's I mean. I, that's embarrassing to go back to your house. Hey guys, like fucking freaks. <laughs> like Ooh, wait, wait, wait. those people. Cause oh, they, uh, cause they got out on bail and they went home oh, and I they've see. been home ever since. Right. It's like, and he was like, Oh, those are the neighbors. Yeah. They got busted well, for killing that's chickens. Well, basically what I'm at right now. <laughs> Might as well be. Cause are really, I feel like I, cause you know, stupid teenage kids do that. Shit. I mean, you remember doing that in like middle school, fucking with, Burning shit, you know? Fire? No, I never did no? that. No. Oh, man. I, used, I was a bit of, You never know do with aerosol cans and, like... I was always too scared to blow up in my hand. Yeah, I watched I people too, do it, but, but I never did it. Yeah. I used to get, um, like, a water bottle, like, a plastic water bottle, and fill it... Not fill it up, but, like, cut it in half and, like, just fill, like, this much of alcohol and just, like... And just, like, watch it, like... And it melts and, like... The blue flame. Anyways. <laughs> I used to play with fire too much. And I wasn't doing that now. Oh, like, me. I was literally trying to be proper about disposing of these chant books oh, god a whole fucking fire check you're the reason why yes I'm the reason why <laughs> I just think that check. was funny cause I was just like what the hell is going uh, on outside that's that was hilarious. weird yeah <laughs> mm-hmm. sorry teach yeah I'm sorry yeah <laughs> what do you ever watch Curb Your Enthusiasm bam 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 is that how it goes yeah. yes yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> that's exactly the thing Did yeah. <laughs> uh, you know what I saw? I tried to find it, and I was going to repost it, but I felt bad about it. But a long... Back when um, Fast and the Furious... What's his name? The Passed Away. Paul Walker. Paul Walker. They have a video of him when the first movie came out, so however many fucking years ago that is. And do you know what I'm talking about? And he says... He looks at the camera and goes, All the stunts in Fast and Furious are done by professionals under controlled circumstances and do not for any reasons try to recreate these stunts. Dun, 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 Whoop! Rip. <laughs> that's fucked. Oh, yeah, I apologize for that. But no, you don't. I, no. Well, that's why I bring it up here. <laughs> Anonymously. <laughs> Man, when Paul Walker died, I, I shared so <coughs> many memes. Oh, really? So many memes. And then um, that was around the time when a GTA 5 was out, uh, Grand Theft Auto 5. Yeah. So I was putting uh, bombs on Well, that's the- when he didn't finish, right? Hmm? That's the one he didn't finish? I'm not talking oh, about... Oh, Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking of the video Fast games. No, yeah. Five. No, yeah. yeah, so the video games, so I would get I would get cars and I would put the sticky bombs on them and I would drive really fast and I would crash into stuff and blow it up and I would put it on Snapchat and go, Paul Walker status! Oh, that's fucked. Oh, man. I had so much fun doing that. Mrs. Teach really used to have a thing for him. And I was always like, he's such a mediocre actor. Like, rest in peace. Like, he was a good guy. No, I... I, I, yeah, I, rest in peace, but that's not going yeah. to discredit that well, he wasn't I, a good actor. He, I just, I never thought, but Mrs. Teach always liked him. Always had a thing for him. I think it's because he's a pretty boy. So when we watch him now, I always go, man, he was a good looking guy back then, but now he's more like this. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fucked up. <laughs> he smushed his face. Yeah, he like smushed my face. That's what Paul Walker's face looks like. No. Paul Walker status! I did that so many times. I got blocked by a few people. We were like, they're like, that's not funny. And I'd be like, oh, well, you know, oh, well. We're, we're both burning in hell anyway, so. Right, yeah. Thin the, thin the herd, so. Um, <laughs> I When I posted that video, whenever I posted it to I put, I imagine a lot of people are going to friend me for this, but I got to I gotta post it because it's just good. It's, it's good. Just, no, don't censor yourself on Facebook. Mm. I, mean, that's, I mean, Facebook is the... 
Who cares? Although there is some etiquette to Facebook. <laughs> etiquette to Facebook. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> So enlighten me, Teach, okay. segueing into our... <laughs> One of our, yeah. Maybe a new segment. I've been thinking knows. about this today, and actually, so I just put together some right now. I might add to the list. The more I think about it. I was like, this could be a, se- this this, could be a segment. I yeah. might write a book. Okay, so, um, <laughs> first, so we're going to call this The Teach's Five Rules of Facebook. All right, so far, I got five. Okay, first of all, don't like your own post. Oh, okay. Let's fucking <laughs> stop doing that shit. I don't get why people do that. What... Yeah, of course you like your post. You fucking posted it. Like, <laughs> you initially told all of us, this is what you think, and this is what you like, or whatever the aspect is. So when you go and like it, the fuck are you telling people? You're like, pat yourself on the back. Like, who does that? Who the fuck does that? It's just weird. Is it because, like, you want that, like, one extra like? Like, is it good to, like, you know, this like... <laughs> it validates that. That extra why. one in there, like, you would have had 11, but now you have 12. Like, you know, like... <laughs> I don't get that at all. Tell me why people fucking do that. Like, do you like your own Facebook statuses? Let us know why you like them. I don't. Uh, yeah, I'm, every time I see that shit, I'm like, okay, you like what you just posted. Thanks, because I thought that you posted because you totally disagreed with everything <laughs> you just said. Like, but now I get it. Now I, you really endorse what you you're really think. driving the point home. Right. I really, really get it now. So cool. <laughs> all right. <laughs> when you share a post. Like the post. Oh. That bugs me. I hate people <laughs> share my shit and don't like my post. Like, mm-hmm. y- the fuck? Like, you didn't think of this. I did. <laughs> or I got it first. Either way. Right. So, fuck you. Like my post before I'm a, you share I, my shit. I'm, a, I'm an offender of both. So, like, there's been times where I share, I share something... Somebody doesn't like it and shares it, and I'm like, hey, what the fuck? Give me some credit first. Uh, but then there's times where I share somebody's post without liking it. I, I don't know how I, I do that. Because I'm just like, I just want to share it already. Like, I don't know. That's how I, I get know. it. Well, I, the only time I do it is when the repeat offenders do that shit. Okay, so my, okay. I'll have, like, all day, like, they just keep sharing my shit, and I'm like, like my fucking post. Like, you need to acknowledge that I recognize this as funny and brought it to you. <laughs> like, I... You got right. this for me, so um, I'm the funny one in your circle, goddammit. <laughs> so you're welcome. All right, so that's that. Like the post first. It's just good etiquette. Second, quit Third. tagging. Oh, that was second. Third, <laughs> don't tag a random friend on another friend's fucking post. I hate that oh, shit. Oh, yes, me I hate too. that shit. Like, I'll post something, and then they tag their friend who I don't fucking know, and then they have a conversation on and I have to get notifications of what they're talking about. And it's like... All you have to do is click on it, and it goes to the original post, and you can tag your friend there. Right. And if you do that, yes. you better, and if you do that, you better like my post too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the worst. Yeah, that that's I hate that me. bugs me. I got a friend who's a re- like the girl I stay with in Austin. She always tags her girlfriend, who's also my friend, but she won't like my post, and then she tags her friend or her girlfriend. And then they'll talk on it. I'm like, go just click on it and do it there. Like, I, you know, you're not even talking to me. This is my post. Like, you're talking to each other. You're like, oh, someone commented on my post. <laughs> oh, it's not about yeah. me. Who has something to say about this? Let's talk. And then it's, yeah, we don't want anything to do with you. So I didn't like your post or tag you in. Anyway, so. <laughs> so that's weird, too. So like the post. or And just don't tag your friend in the post. And if you do, like the post. <laughs> but don't tag your friend. Well, number three. Okay, no four. That was that was that number was four? three. Now yeah, four. No, yeah, so I'll say that was number three. Oh, that was three. Yeah, now four. Okay. No one cares about your relationship. No. Okay. Unless you really break up. Okay. Okay. Actually, <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> My, you know, no one, not the rela- the relationship things. If they're good, that's great. Okay. Not a problem. I like seeing that shit. You know, people doing good. They're and they're happy and they're this and that. That's good. That's good shit. It's good quality content. But the people that always post about, like, sh- their shit boyfriend or oh, whatever, or, like... My baby daddy ain't shit. Guess, I get, guess I'm, guess I'm going to be alone with two kids. And it's like, every couple months you do this shit, you mm-hmm. just look like a clown. Y'all both look like fucking clowns. Like, <laughs> now, so, just Skedaddle. stop. Just do your little tiff. You know you do this. It's like foreplay for these people. I, they, I think they like to, like, right. I love you so much, you know, we're breaking up because it's so passionate. And then they, like... <laughs> I just, they, you know, they have that weird... People are like that. And that's how those kids get created and then they have yeah and that's why we're in trump america so um (laughs) but but at the same time if you actually have like a solid relationship right and then all of a sudden you fall off you owe us (laughs) to tell us what the fuck (laughs) happens like i always say i had this one friend who was with this one guy 
Um, and they were together for like, I don't know, five, seven years or whatever, you know. And then and they were gonna get it. Last I used to work with her and um they were last I heard they were gonna get a house and they were getting hitched and they had to send out invitations and all that and then just nothing. Like for like two years really. And I kinda just thought they were just off Facebook. You know, the guy was never on Facebook anyways and she just I just thought she was busy. Right. And then she resurfaces like this other guy and like or it's like we need explanations. Like, right. Who's all this of us Jamoke? need to know. Yeah. Who's this Jambroni? Like, <laughs> we need to know what the fuck happened. And some people do that. You know, they'll be like, look, you know, this happened and we're, you know, working it out or whatever. You know, we decided blah, blah, blah. It's like, we need closure, people. So, but other than that, if you're just doing it to like piss off your significant other because y'all had a fight, the fuck out of here. Right. Get the fuck off my feet. I wanna, I'm here for memes. <laughs> um, also, okay, just avoid vague posts about yourself. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, you're posting it because you want to tell us something. What you're making us? Oh, like one of those like can't believe this happened. Right, and then and, it's like, and then it's like, what happened? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Text me. You did because you just put it on this platform for everyone to see. So just fucking tell us. We want to know. Okay? Exactly. I want to exactly. know. Fucking tell me what's going wrong. Um, I mean, I might laugh at you, and I probably won't post on it, I won't like it, but I might judge you a little bit, but <laughs> you wanted to say it anyways, so right. just fucking put it out there. Exactly. That's the whole point of the fucking, whatever the fuck it's called, social, social media. media. Yeah. There so there's the five. Five. So there. far. Cheers to that. So, follow them, or you'll go to teach hell. <laughs> a post by our page you should like it as well <laughs> right please like and share well i gotta commend the fans yet again man it's um posted the episode last night i saw three likes and i was like yeah it was like the thumbs up awesome keep doing that um but no um it was up for about two hours two and a half hours already got up to like eight nine views wow within that time frame so i'm like man thank you guys um I remember when it would take like two, three weeks for a, oh, yeah. for an episode to get to 10 views. So yeah. it's like with posting it right away and then it getting that amount of views makes me happy, That's guys. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I was like, you guys are making me happy. And I don't know any of y'all, so. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like, I know like maybe four or five of them at the most. Uh, now oh, it's wow. not just us. <laughs> you right, know what I mean? Right, right. Kind of the, right. So thank you guys for that. Um, you know, really, really appreciate the love on that. Gotta say, um... Jackie, hope you get well soon. I hope you're feeling better. Um, she's been, uh, she hasn't been at work. I know she's been having some issues mm. going on. So um, I'm pretty sure by the time this comes out, maybe you'll be back at work. And when you hear it, you'll be like, oh. I was <laughs> like, I haven't forgotten about you. It's just uh, when I know people are in hospitals and stuff like that, I try not to text. Right. Because um, I'm just like, hey, take care of what you need right. to do. We'll talk about it when you get back. So uh, so speedy recovery to that. Yeah. Wish you the best. We yeah. love you. Get well. I'll drink to that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. I've been, um, I've been really thinking about making a t-shirt, like, like um, a who cares t-shirt. How much does that cost? I don't know. That's what, that's what scares me about yeah. doing it. I'm just like, well, it's, it's just like, you'd have, I mean, I'd want one, so I wouldn't mind chilling out, but like, you kind of want to make a, a, not a lot, but like a few, right? Right. And how much does that cost? Oh, it's worth looking into. I'm, I'm in, if you want to go half on it. I was like, yeah, we could look into that. Maybe okay. like, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind selling them wholesale too, just so we make our money back. So right. it's not even like we're profiting off you guys. It really would just be like, you're just buying a shirt because <laughs> right. you know we won't make any money off it. It's just to get it out there. And, and you know and, what? And I actually that just uh, reminded me. I have an idea, but we'll talk about that. Big news coming soon. Wink, wink. <laughs> I was like, but that just gave me a great idea, and I'll discuss that maybe on the spoke break or something. Good. good. Um, but yeah, so let's see here. So big, big news, big news within this week, uh, North Korea and South Korea. Oh, man. Oh, uh, Kim Jong-un stepping foot in South Korea Mm -hmm. for like, what, the first time ever his whole life, I think, or something along those lines. No, sure. Yeah, definitely. Um, Shaking hands. They shook hands on South Korea soil. Then then they crossed the back into North Korea, shook hands there, Mm -hmm. and then they signed a peace treaty along something along those lines. Um, I don't know about the the logistics of it, but right, yeah, what I heard was for him that is monumental. Exactly, you know they don't even. I think we've talked about on the on this podcast in the earlier episodes, <laughs> the archives, um, <laughs> where, where you know even the soldiers when they get close to line, North Korean soldiers they all have to hold each other like five at a time. 
so that no one can defect. Like, because if they cross lines, that's that's the line of war. And if right, once when they cross that line, they have no. Uh, the D and Z, right? Or the, the D and Z? Yeah, okay. D and Z. Yeah. So like, you know, they have army people all up on there. Right. And technically, if one of them wanted to like cross, all they have to do is cross the line, and then they're free. They've defected. Like they are considered out of the country, and their country can't. Their army can't go in there, or it's an act of war. So they, when they do get up close to it for whatever reason, like because they're just stand, they hold hands, they make them hold each other so that if they try, they pull them back. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, so for him to do that is monumental. That is crazy. And um, the crazy thing was was uh, I was reading about it on Twitter. I guess like maybe after it happened, Twitter has these things called stories where they compile a bunch of tweets that everyone's talking about and put in like a little thing where you can read it. Um, Apparently, when all this was happening, almost the whole world was broadcasting, you know, them shaking hands and meeting and everything, like CNN, Fox News, all this stuff. Like, they were all talking about it. But in North Korea, um, the broadcast, like, the broadcast was just, like, out. Like, it was a black screen. They weren't showing nothing. Then, eventually, it turned into, like, those, like, those yellow, black, white, like, you know, those lines, those Mm. boxes. Mm -hmm. And then it just went into cartoons. It went into the news. But they didn't talk about it at all. Oh. So they're like, is maybe is maybe North Korea having some tricks up their sleeves? I'm like, I hope that's not that's the case. That's really what I thought of. <laughs> right? It's like, you yeah. know, what's really going on? Because then it's like, you know, the whole with North Korea giving up their uh, nuclear testing and not doing anything with that anymore, their whole nuclear program, you know, they stopped doing that. And then they have this meeting with South Korea. Mm. Yeah, I watched the video and I've read a little bit about it and I've heard so the thing is that I haven't seen anything like concrete where they said it's happened like they right. talked about how like Kim Jong Un said when they had their little like banter which I'm sure was probably written, you know, I'm sure it wasn't off the cuff but um you know, North Korea is known for this certain type of noodle soup so the, Kim Jong Un said something about come on over and have some I think and I think they did. He had President Moon tried the noodles, I and then they know. when they went over to the South Korean side, they brought him some kind of you know South Korean treat. They all have the same thing, but North Korea is just known for it, whatever, and then whatever South Korea is known for. Um, and like over that course of talk, Kim Jong Un said, you know that will with the nukes, but I haven't really seen anything where it's like they have done it. You, you know, right. So I don't know. I mean, and the first thing I thought it was like it's a trap. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. Emerald Empire. It's a trap. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I was just like, dang, that, to see something like that in our lifetime, it, it really is. It's, it's history making because, you know, as far as back when, you know, like middle school, high school, learning about that kind of thing and like, you know, they um very separate, the D and Z. And I didn't know they go to that extent where they hold hands to prevent people oh, yeah. from crossing over. Like, um, and then you hear these stories where people escape North Korea, you know, and like, um, the performers and stuff like those uh, like the ballerina dancers and everything like the you know quote unquote torture they go through to perform yeah. you know the pressure that they're under you know the the cartoons that they show um, when I saw I don't know have you seen the interview with James Franco and Seth Rogen uh-huh, yeah so we saw it at the draft house on Christmas yeah um, they're when, the only ones that would show it yeah because uh, if if you don't remember if you lived under a rock you know four years ago um, or two years ago whenever it came out. Um, that movie was about to start a fucking war yeah. uh, with North Korea and America because um, the movie's about Seth Rogen and James Franco going to North Korea to interview Kim Jong Un and they make Kim Jong Un want to kill him. Yeah, yeah, to to kill him. Um, but they make Kim Jong Un look all like kind of effeminate and you know mm-hmm. and uh, kind of like over the top with his weight and this, mm-hmm. this and that. So it's like actually he, he was skinnier than the <laughs> <real> Kim <laughs> and then uh, they make him love Dave, Katy Perry. Do you think margaritas are gay? <laughs> <laughs> His accent was horrible. Like that wasn't even a good Korean accent. I was like, I, I love, I know, mean, I love that actor that played Kim Jong Un. Yeah. He's in Fresh Off the Boat, which is a hilarious show he's on also ABC. In, um, he does a cameo on the uh, Office. Yeah, he's an uh, Asian Jim. <laughs> right. I'm glad you don't see color, Dwight. Thank you. <laughs> good like, for you. Yeah, good for you. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, we when we saw that movie in the Draft House, and if you watch movies at the Draft House, they usually sew silly things before the movie, mm-hmm. or like they show clips associated with what you're about to watch. So they were showing old propaganda cartoons about North Korea making fun of Americans and stuff. They were showing the North Korean... North Korean cartoon. Well, that's part of the movie, isn't it? No, this was before oh. the movie started. Oh, okay. Because, have you ever been to Alamo Draft House? Oh. So you... I've been a few times. I, 
So before the, even the preview start, like, as their people go into their seat, they're taking their orders and stuff. Oh, okay. They show a little, like, random internet clips and this, this, and that. Like, if you see a superhero movie, they show funny, super like, superhero parodies and this, this, uh-huh. and that. Kind of, like, you know how, like, a regular movie theater they show behind the scenes at the uh-huh. movies and, yeah, like, yeah, stupid yeah. shit with all the advertisements? Well, Alamo Draft House, instead of showing advertisements, they show funny things. Mm. Um, or, like, things associated with the movie you're about to watch. So... With the interview, they were showing the North Korea propaganda cartoons from, like, the 60s and 70s and stuff. And it was, like, really, like, awkward to watch. Like, I don't know. I felt uncomfortable because it's, like, that stuff is so ugly and, like, people over there kind of get forced to watch it. But at the same time, you know, because, like, their depictions of Americans is very, like, crude and ugly and stuff. Mm-hmm. But then at the same time, you look at it. We do that, too. Well, I was, like, we make very crude depictions yeah. of all other types of races and everything like My that. My favorite joke about North Korea was a Chappelle joke. I don't know if you've heard it. Um, he says, in, in one of his stand-ups, he goes, I forget the context of it now, but the joke was, have you ever seen a film, you know, North Korea on film? It's always in black and white. He goes, and we're in, I think at the time, it might have been like in the early 2000s, he's like, we're in 2000s. They got colored cameras. They were just so evil. There was no color in them. They, they are just black and white. That's just how it looks over there. It's so... They were just the worst type of people that... They just look... If you went to the country, it looked like a black and white film. That's not the camera's fault. It's just how they look. Um, and I remember that. And that was the only... I never really knew about the South, North and South Korea conflict. Actually, I mean, even when I met Mrs. Teach. Right. Was South Korean. Uh, I remember my grandfather making a joke going, is she from north or south? And I was like, I don't know. And he was like, she's from south. Like, she's not from the north side because you know. Like, you know, right. So that would probably be the first thing she tells you. Like, I'm from north like I defected from my country. And like, you know, so. <laughs> it's like, because my aunt, my aunt's a Korean as well. Oh, my yeah. dad's sister. Yeah. Um, you know, and it, yeah, so it's just crazy. And, you know, and I think she's from South Korea as well. Because like you said. I'm you know, sure, yeah. Yeah, he would know. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's. You know, and I, I saw, I remember seeing Mr. Teach's, um, it was either you or... It was, Mrs. I, I was posted the video, she posted... Uh, she posted the yeah. big old thing, yeah, yeah, and I was reading and I was like, wow, you know, like, to see, like, you know, the Koreans here in America, you know, that are, you know, from Korea, uh-huh. not just of Korean descent and everything, to see that impact that it has on them was really, you know, really cool to see. Oh, yeah. So, she's from the south of South Korea, so, you know, South Korea is a peninsula, And so she's by the ocean. So her family, she doesn't have relatives on that side. They've always been very south. But you'll see Seoul is from, is the top of South Korea, but it's technically in the middle of the entire country of North and South Korea that Mm -hmm. it used to be before it was North and South. So a lot of families that were from Seoul, from the capital, they have a lot of half and half ties where, and it's their grandparents at this point the grandparents are the they were kids when the Korean War happened Mm -hmm. so they were you know torn a lot of families by that by the DNZ are half and half some were just on the other side and the other were here and so she used to watch they had a TV show where Kim Jong-un like once a year would let certain families come over to South Korea or they would meet somewhere you know where they could reconnect with their South Korean family Mm -hmm. and they would you know the grandparents would be just crying and you know and showing them their their son you know their kids and their kids kids and this and that so mrs teach is always uh, even though she doesn't have relatives in north korea she i mean it's felt there in south right. korea no matter where you're from so she was uh, you know got a bit emotional about with that too but i mean this is historic it's yeah it really is hope and i'm hoping that it's all in good you know um Maybe one day we'll see it unite as yeah. just Korea. You know, to be honest, I always thought it's like they're either going to fuck up and we'll have to just, well, not just us. Everyone's going to be like, this is just not okay, you know, because they'll, they're running out of food and they're running out of resources and blah, blah, blah. Eventually the egg will crack. Or it was like, you need to kind of open shit up because you, countries don't run like this. You know what right. I mean? Like, I don't know if you knew the, um, Kim Jong-un had an older brother. And I can't, and it's Kim Jong something. Kim is the family name, and Jung tended to be, they they kept that part, and then they just changed the whatever, because his Kim name Jung was Il, Kim Jong Il, and then his sons were Kim Jong Un, and Kim Jong something or like, I can't, I won't even try to make it up. But that older brother was the next in line for the regime. Okay. But he was very, um, 
guess you could call it liberal for their country. He wanted to open up. He wanted he wanted to get rid of the regime. He wanted to get rid of like all the silliness that North Korea is and be like, we need to like be a part of the world, right? Mm-hmm. Which was just Kim Jong Il. Um, what's the word? Uh, like banished, like. Um, Removed him from family tree. I don't know. Well, it's from the country, though. I don't know if you're... Like, you know, when you... Uh, oh, there's a specific word. There's a word yeah. for it. I can't think of it. Like, banned him from the country. Like, he sent him away. So he lived in, um, like, Sri Lanka or something for a long time. And that's how Kim Jong-un took the regime when his father died because... Banished? Banished. Banished. Was that what I was trying to say? Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Um, banished him. And, um... And so he was actually technically supposed to be in, the, and he was even still, I guess, trying to do stuff from far away. Mm-hmm. So Kim Jong Un had him killed in Sri Lanka. They Damn. Finally, he was in hiding too. Exile, exiled him. Okay, that's the word. Exiled him. Yeah, and um, Kim Jong Un had him assassinated Damn. in Sri Lanka, and that was a year or two ago. So that there's, an, and then that's where I was like, oh fuck, this ain't gonna change. <laughs> like you know, <laughs> so to see him doing this now is exciting you know yeah and, and hopefully it works exactly. hopefully they're open for communication for real right so that's awesome so more to come on that story and you know as the weeks develop i guess sound like mm. a newscaster <laughs> um but uh scotch 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 i love scotch, scotch. <laughs> have a good day yum, yum, san yum. diego down to my belly <laughs> what does he say where he goes all like um he's like san diego and he reads it as a question or like that's it yeah because they accidentally did a question mark they're like who put a question yeah. mark ron Burry will read anything you put on the teleprompter <laughs> and go fuck yourself san diego oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with your poop poop mouth with your poop poopy mouth <laughs> he's all check, he's all done with his papers <laughs> yeah and they're all I, you're fired <laughs> he's all what you're fired <laughs> <laughs> fucking wrong I fucking love that movie oh man um <coughs> speaking of history making not as historic as uh North Korea and South Korea uh uniting uh in this little thingy um WWE had their first ever pay per view event in the the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Um, mm. They had it in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. And um, the reason why it's it's historic is because... Because WWE do, does something what's called live events. Like, when they go to a different country, they put on, like, one bi- one or two big shows. Like, in a, you know, in a little venue. You know, it sells out. Everybody comes. Yay, we get to see our favorite wrestlers. And that's kind of it. So... Saudi Arabia, you know, is very strict. They have a lot of old school laws. Um, you know, they don't really broadcast a lot of stuff from Saudi Arabia, which what WWE kept stating, you know, is that, hey, you know, Saudi Arabia doesn't really allow performers. They don't really allow sports, this kind of thing, you know, especially like wrestling, something is violent and barbaric, quote unquote. Well, and kind of revealing looking too, no? Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, and that too. So, yeah, so... Which I'm about to get into with that is because last year, or maybe it was earlier this year, it it was either earlier this year or right at the end of 2017. I forgot where they performed. I think it was the United Emirates, uh, United Arab Emirates, where they um, where WWE's been many of times. WWE's been all over the world, but a United Arab Emirates, they had they allowed the first ever women's wrestling match, um, but they only allow them to wrestle if they wore a full body suit. Where, like, their, uh, everything was covered, you know, and even their hands and stuff. Um, and so Alexa Bliss and Sasha Banks were the first two women to ever wrestle in this country. And, you know, and they were all... And I remember watching the videos. They were real emotional, like, after their match and stuff. Because we all know WWE is fake. And, you know, and they were in the rivalry or whatever. But they were holding each other, crying, and this, this and that. And that they, they got to be part of something, history-making and everything. And they were showing videos of the girls rocking up to the girl wrestlers, crying and, like, saying, thank you, this inspires me so much. Maybe one day I can be a wrestler from this country and perform in front of my, you know, in front of my family, in front of my country, da, 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 and this, this, and that. Um, so, like, the impact that wrestling has on people. And so, with Saudi Arabia, they did something called the Greatest Royal Rumble. That was the name of the event. Where a Royal Rumble is typically 30 men. In Saudi Arabia, they made it 50 men. They added oh, okay. 20 more men I into the match. Stay in there. <laughs> exactly. So, um, so yeah, it, it was a long-ass event. And it was on a Friday. And then due to the time frame, to the time zone difference, the pay-per-view event started at 11 in the morning. So I was at work 
when that was happening and I, I missed it live. So I had to rewatch it when I got home and I stayed up to like fucking two, three in the morning watching it. Cause where it did like, they play it? Where did they play it? Where, or where did you see it? I mean, the WWE network. Oh, okay. That's where they stream. Their it was now. late at night. Yeah. Cause it was recorded. So like with the WWE network, they show the pay-per-view live on the network, and then as soon as the pay-per-view event's over, it's available to rewatch as many times as you want. Sure. Because it's recorded live, and they instantly post it, you know, to the website, you know, which is something I wish I could do right with the episodes. Like, right. we're done. Boom. Post. Right. Post it. Um, but yeah, so they, you know, they hardly edit it, this, this, and that. They, boop, you know, send it off. So that's how I watched it when I got home. But... While this was, you know, a shocking, like, what? Like, WWE doesn't do pay-per-view events in other countries. They only do it here in America and sometimes Canada because Canada still falls in line with our time zone. Mm. Because that's the main thing. They're afraid of not getting views Mm. because of the time zone difference. But while this is all good and everything, there was two things that, um, that they were not allowed to do. One, they weren't allowed to have any women at the event. Mm. No women performers. Nothing. Or what about the what the viewers too? There was there was women in the crowd. Oh, okay. There was women in the crowd, but they were like the when I I heard that they still have them separated. No, well, no, well, and that's another thing too, because Saudi Arabia, because apparently this the the prince or whatever you call you know their high leader uh-huh. over there in Saudi Arabia, he's actually going a lot of to be really progressive. Mm. Um, he has some he has some goal for the country by the year twenty twenty five or twenty thirty five or something. <laughs> Um, to kind of unite the whole country. So under his, when he's been in power, um, movie theaters used to be that way, where it was separate. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Women weren't allowed to drive. Women weren't allowed to do this. So now women have more freedom to do stuff in this country. Um, Black Panther was the first movie in like so many odd years where men and women were allowed to be in the same theater. Huh. So so nice. lo- so yeah. So this event too, that was history making too. They were allowed to be in this sporting event mm. together. But women wrestlers weren't allowed. Right, so when super when WWE cut this deal with Saudi Arabia, they were like, "Yeah, this is all cool. No women wrestlers. Oh no, we should gonna." But and then it was going <laughs> to cost. It was going to cost the company millions upon millions of dollars to allow even one female performer to show their face at at this event. Saudi so they Arabia, would have done it for the money. Pretty much. Yeah. Wow. So Saudi Arabia was like, yeah, if you do this. And so WWE was like, well, we respect your customs, but, you know, that's really steep yeah. to have one female wrestler. It's like, that's not even how much we pay them. It's like, right. what are you talking about? So WWE was like, no, we'll go ahead and just respect it. Leave it as is. You know, we'll have the event. So it was nothing but men, um, which some people were really upset about. Like there was people that were livid. How how can you how dare you guys oh for God. bringing it to this type of country if they don't allow oh, this? I see. And because and WWE has been really breaking a lot of ground with women's wrestling, it's been really coming up. Um, they're not called divas anymore; they're actually called women. Like oh. which is like they don't do bra and panty matches anymore, like they did Damn. back in the day, right? <laughs> and the women wrestlers are really good, and they're starting to do a lot of the extreme things that men do. Uh, the first ever women's Hell in a Cell match, elimination chamber match. First ever women's Royal Rumble, uh, women's Extreme Rules match. Like they're really starting to um, really go to make the women do like what the guys do. Mm-hmm. So that's really cool. And then that's why I kinda, and people are saying this puts a big old halt on like the the women's evolution is what they're calling it. I'm like I don't think that puts a halt on it. That's just being respectful. You gotta. I mean, you gotta take a win when when you get a win. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, and then another thing too, Finn Balor, uh, one of my one of my current favorite wrestlers. He's really, he's really LGBTQ, you know, he's really, you know, an, an ally with them and everything like that. And he, at WrestleMania, he, he debuted a new t-shirt where um, his logo, his, it's, it's called Balor Club, that's his, like, fan base. And then it's like a BC, and he came out with a shirt where it says, where the BC is in um, rainbow colors. Uh-huh. And on the back it says Balor Club for everyone, and then it's written in rainbow and so he and so okay. yeah so at Wrestlemania it was all rainbow you know and everything because he does this little thing where it's all with the music and it usually like flashes lights and this time it did like rainbow lights and he had a big old group of you know LGBTQ people with him on stage really cool so and that's what he's been doing typically now when he performed at the in Saudi Arabia he it was just his regular old stuff 
I didn't think twice about it. I was just like, oh, Finn Balor, yeah, too sweet, right? <laughs> I was like, yeah, Finn Balor. But apparently, you know, your hand motions were really energetic, but then your voice was just like, yeah, Tim Balor. I was like, it's Finn Balor, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I kept doing it. But um, but people were like, "How dare Finn Balor not be allowed to wear his uh, his gay shirt? To be, call it the gay shirt, which I think is kind of all right." Yeah. But is they're like, he can't wear his <laughs> rainbow shirt. They're taking the word back. Yeah, what they're doing. <laughs> he can't wear it. Da-da-da. Porch monkeys for life. <laughs> Porch monkey. Um, <laughs> I just like the way the cop says that. <laughs> Porch monkey. <laughs> It was cool. We're taking it back. Um, so yeah, so there was one tweet that got a lot that got a lot of heat because this guy was all like, <coughs> "This, you know, how like they stopped Finn Balor from expressing himself." And Finn Balor had to say like, "Like one, I haven't worn it on every single show." Like, and he put like six. He puts the six Monday Night Raws. He hasn't worn it or whatever. And he goes two. Sometimes I just need to do laundry. Um, but the real thing is, is because you know Saudi Arabia is still really with the whole. I mean, gay but thing. damn, you know. Fuck. You can't yeah. nitpick. I mean, that's a big progressive thing, especially if they set the crowd. Mm-hmm. I mean, you got little steps, little steps. You infiltrate and then you spread. Like, exactly. You throw it all in there and be all... That's what I'm saying. I was like, this is the first This is the first event we have going on over there. We don't want a damaged relationship. And Triple H is the one that's really handling a lot of this stuff. Because Triple H, he wrestled at the Greatest Royal Rumble. Mm-hmm. But now he's just kind of the guy that loses all the time. You know, like, is Triple H is fighting. He's still a heel, Yeah. Um, but he's, I mean, he's the one that's taking, you know, NXT to the next level where NXT is being, is ended up being better than the main event, like Monday Night Raw, the, 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 the night before WrestleMania, they had something called NXT TakeOver Mm -hmm. in New Orleans. That event was like 3 million times better than fucking WrestleMania. Like I wish I would have rather gone to NXT than WrestleMania because NXT, the pay-per-view event was so, oh my God, it was so awesome. And now WWE NXT has all these independent stars um, that are, like, huge names. But, you know, it's it's crazy. Triple H, once Vince McMahon either passes away or retires, <laughs> Triple like H... I said that for passes away first. I mean, it was likely a certain I was like, he's closer to that than retiring. Right. But, you know, let's be honest. Um, but, man, once Triple H gets a hold of this company... Man, there's going to be uh, WWE is going to be right back at the Attitude Era, man. I know I we've talked it. about this before. Is Triple H still dating the or married to the daughter? Yeah, Stephanie McMahon. Yeah, yeah. they're still married. Wow. Yeah, man. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much. I mean, that's the whole history making thing. I thought that was really. No, that's cool. awesome. I mean, you know, things are happening. <laughs> this, you know, this world's getting better. Hopefully, yeah, it looks like it. I mean, you know, there's this. Um, and we've talked about the Rutherford I want to say it's the Rutherford family and I think we've touched on this before they own all the banks they own the mm, banks okay, okay, okay. so like Bank of America like the Rothschild and stuff what did I say Rutherford yeah no Roth, Rothschild Rothschild yeah yeah them Rutherford the fuck <laughs> I just go with it it comes to me and I just go with it um, no but the aspect of this family so you've heard of them right so yeah they own all the money everywhere and that's what they're saying that I I want to say like Saudi Arabia we used to be one of the countries that didn't have Rothschild but now they do no, same okay. with Iraq used to be with Saddam but now that he's gone they own it North Korea and like North Korea and some other random ass like Syria probably you know are the ones that don't so easy well so that's that's <laughs> also one of the conspiracy theory is that it's not. Everything behind it is Rothschild. Just, the they're ISIS just trying thing? to take over. I don't think it's. Why? Well, oh, like, the, just, like using the Obama fueled ISIS. Right, 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 right. Well, it's all the aspect that Rothschild owns all the money, and they just want the countries. Like it's like we need this. You know, like they're taking care of it basically. So, um, so without all that, um, it's good to see that connections are being made and that's probably not the case too you know? right so, yeah you never know what really happens behind the right scenes. so so that's interesting but it also is like that easy with north korea i'm kind of like i don't know yeah, it's like well that's it, what, well, what prompted them have you seen that meme with um <laughs> it's got like a little character of like um president moon 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 is his last name moon whatever it's moon uh, is the president of South Korea, mm-hmm. and then Kim Jong Un, and so there's two little characters where they have the paper and they go peace treaty, and then they go to President Trump and go, "We made this," and Trump goes, "You made this," and he's holding it, and then they walk away. He goes, "I made this." 
I'll do you change your voice for it too. I hate this. this it could, it, that's exactly how like it, it looks on the. I, I'll share it. I was like, yeah, I was like, I haven't seen it. So because point. it's just it's a little sti- like little characters of President Moon and Kim Jong Un holding this peach tree, going, "We made this," and then or no, they're just holding it, and then the next frame is there's Trump, the little character of Trump, and then Moon and uh, Un, and they they're holding their peach tree, and they go, "Hey, look, we made this," and Trump goes. You made this? And he's just looking at them. And then and then they're kind of like handed, I guess, or whatever. And then the last frame is, it's just President Trump holding. He's going, I made this. <laughs> <laughs> the, only, <coughs> the only meme I've seen is um, Moon and Un, um, I guess with their, with their kids, I'm presuming. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're like, they're standing all next to each other, all the families and stuff. And then someone took that and like photoshopped them to make it look like a Naruto characters, oh like anime God. characters, <laughs> and, you know, like that. That kind of cracked me up. It was all like because the picture on top was them normal, and then the bottom picture was like Naruto should put in, and it was it was them dressed up like characters. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> that that was funny. I gotta find it. Okay, so smoke break. Smoke break. You're the jerk, jerk, jerk of the week. You're a jerk and it's your week. You really outdid yourself like a crazy super jerk. You're probably a big jerk every week, but this week, you're the jerk of the week. Man, I always love that part. Jerk, 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 jerk. Are you going to play? Yeah. Jerk, 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 jerk. I just love that so much. Jerk, 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 jerk. It's funny, so... 20 some weeks ago when we first would play this we and David would be very animated and as we've gotten used to it we're just kind of like I mean uh, well, the weeks like where we have a intermission in between filming yeah. and we do the jerk of the week roll yeah, yeah, yeah. It hypes back up, dancing, and then, yeah. and then, well, we're now we're just used to it, like we get jerk of the week coming up. So like, like, <laughs> because right now we're talking like, so are we going to start with the jerk of the week, go into it? Yeah. And I was like, eh, just play it. <laughs> like, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, let's just get it over. But that jerk, 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 jerk. That's the part that gives me a little pep in my step. Yeah. Um, but anyway, serious time now. Um, my jerk of the week. So, my jerk of the week goes to one guy individually. And I'm not going to call out his name, um, but to anybody who has either directly or inadvertently ruined Avengers Infinity Wars to somebody that's been excited for the movie but hasn't been able to see it, you are an asshole and <laughs> most, most importantly, the biggest jerk and all of you are my jerks of the week. So I only saw Avengers Infinity Wars last Thursday because there was a gentleman that I'm friends with on Facebook and that said, I have tickets to the, I think he said like the 8.30 or 9 o'clock showing and he goes, and I'm going to see it, and I'm going to pay close attention because when I get out of the movie theater, before I drive home, I'm going to post the entire synopsis with spoilers in it. And he goes, that's your fault for not having money to go see the movie. And I was like, what an asshole. What a yeah. jerk. Yeah. And so, and I was like, babe, we have to see the movie. I was like, <laughs> I don't. How close is this person to you? He's a really close friend of me in high school, but since we got out of high school, it's just kind of been like, I'm friends with him still on Facebook, but I don't talk to him. I would delete him. Right. So I'm just like, and I was like, babe, I was like, we have to see Avengers tonight. And I was like, we have to see it. <laughs> She's like, why? I was like, because I'm just afraid of spoilers. I need to see the movie. I want to be able to talk about it. I was like, I don't want people, I don't want to accidentally hear something. Okay, okay, shit. Like, I was like, all right, fine, we'll go see it. <laughs> so we saw it at 11. Nice yeah. So we saw it at 11.30 at night. Oh, fuck. And we took my little sister because my little sister loves the Marvel movies. The movie ended around two something. Oh. So then we dropped my sister off, and then we got all I had to drive all the way back over here. We didn't get home till about three o'clock. Jesus. So and then I had to go to work, you know, at nine thirty in the morning. So it was popcorn for some reason. What's up? Just this story makes me want popcorn. Right. Movie theater popcorn. We had popcorn. (laughs) I had popcorn. (laughs) (laughs) So and sure enough, you know, and I'm too tired to get on Facebook or anything. So sure enough, the next morning while I'm taking my shit and getting ready for work and stuff, this guy posted, you know. The, the ending, he posted what happens throughout the movie. He posted big surprises that happen throughout the movie. And I'm like, what a fucking asshole. And people are commenting, wow, dude, I thought you were playing. 
this is a nine, this is fucked up, and he's all like, it's not my fault, you're poor. And I'm like, <laughs> I was like, what does people's that financial had, status has, has to do with seeing a movie? With all the movies were sold out. I only saw it, and I saw it in the second row. I hate watching movies where uh, I have to look up at the screen. So it was a full house. It was full, every single showing that yeah. Thursday night was sold out. Yeah. And like, I was lucky to even find three seats together. Right. You know, because most of it would be like, there's one in the middle, one at the top, right. one at the bottom. You know, all spread out. So I was lucky enough to find something on the day of, mm-hmm. you know, at Casablanca. We saw it at that brand new movie theater on 1604. Yeah. And new movies sell out like like nothing over yeah. there. Yeah. So I was like, man, what the fuck? And then people have been sharing. When did it come out? Last Thursday. Uh, and then you saw it that Thursday? I saw it that Thursday. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, so. Oh, fuck. Yeah, no shit. You got, that was lucky that you, on the fly, was able to pick it up. Yeah. Exactly. And so... Um, and I was just like, wow, what an... And people have been sharing, it's like these new memes, it's all like, um, Infinity War spoilers with no context. And okay. it's like, it's like memes and stuff. Well, sure, yeah, like someone who hasn't seen the movie won't get it. Yeah. But it's like, still, it's like, just don't. Like, it's, it's an asshole thing I to do. I saw one where, I, I, and I haven't seen the movie, and, I, and it's not spoiled for me yet, but I don't really care. Because right. I, I don't plan, I don't, like, if I see it, I'll see it. I'm not really begging to see it or whatever, but mm-hmm. I saw one, I don't know if this is Infinity Wars though, but... It looks like there was one with um, uh, Popovich and Kawhi, and Kawhi saying something about not wanting to be here anymore. And then I don't looks, feel well. It looks all pixelated. Yeah, so Is that's, that Infinity War? that's Infinity War. Okay, so yeah. I didn't give away who that was, right? We might, no, yeah, okay. it doesn't. Okay. No, I was like, um, but it's still, it's like, but the, the line that this meme is being associated with is kind of the spoiler part. Right, okay. Where it goes, I don't feel well, I don't feel well Mr. Stark. Uh, and that's the line so people have been putting like I don't feel well Jim and it's Michael when he's saying goodbye to Jim oh yeah I saw office. that one yeah that one so yeah. and there's only one person that calls Tony Stark Mr. Stark oh okay. and I don't it's know that either. Well, yeah did it's you like, spoil it for someone no I didn't spoil it but <laughs> well right now on the podcast well if you're okay well if you're listening to this by the time this gets posted if you haven't seen it okay then oh then you suck <laughs> not that you're poor but it's like <laughs> You know, your financial set has nothing to do with sold-out movies. Uh, um, but okay, well, I guess I know who's going to die when if I do watch it. Who's <laughs> like, calling him Mr. Stark is the It's like, in a, that's all I'm going to say. You guys can't even hear me because I'm doing a hand motion. But uh, Well, that makes me think of someone. Oh, okay. Why well, didn't ask to be... <laughs> I didn't ask for it to be swelled, but I guess it is for me. Yeah. Okay, so my jerk of the week is David. Me, where are you going to see it? Are you going to remember that when you finally uh, see it? Yes, I'll remember it. It's okay. I'll ruin it for Mrs. Teach, too, so it'll be fair. <laughs> Does she want to see it? Not really. But, oh, but okay. if we, she wanted to see Black Panther um, because that one was the last movie that was real popular, right? Mm-hmm. And we don't really watch Marvel movies, so but we, and we had... We were like, we're going to go watch it. And um, actually, we did go, we tried to go see it that weekend that they had, it was free for teachers at Animal oh, Draft okay. House. And we were actually going to do like this double feature thing where we were going to, we were going to go watch Black Panther and A Wrinkle in Time. <laughs> Me, when I wanted to watch, uh, Mrs. Teacher wanted to watch uh, Black Panther and I wanted to see Wrinkle in Time. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> well, and because I, I remember reading the book in school and it was during a time where I just I liked the book a lot, so I got excited. And it's I watched it. And it was like that was nice thinking of like my childhood. But I was like, God, it's such a kid movie. Um, <laughs> you know, like I appreciated what they did there. But I was like, Yeah. Right. Anyways, um, something about Black Panther was like for the Alan Draft House, they said that they couldn't apply that discount for us because Probably it was Marvel. Movie. Oh wow! Okay, I didn't know the whole. Oh no, because it I was Disney. The, what the guy told us, which I think is well, because Disney does own Marvel. No, okay, so and so he goes, oh, that's a Disney movie. We kind of apply it for you. And We're like, oh, okay, well, that's fine. We'll just see Wrinkle in Time, and then we see Wrinkle in Time. And it goes Disney. Yeah, I was like, that's <laughs> it's a Disney, a Disney movie. movie. So we were like, so how did we the discount for this one? I don't. know, Maybe he didn't know what he was doing, but probably he was just talking out of his ass. Yeah, I, mean. I, I don't know. I kind of feel like he didn't want to give us like a discount for two. Like, he just mm. wanted to be like, can't have two, like, you know, I don't know, it seemed kind of like that. But I, I didn't really care, so. Right. Um, I still want to see Black Panther, though. And I guess, now I don't want to see this one, because I already know what happened. ends. So. Oh my god. So now, thanks, thanks, David. What I did is, like, a friggin' 100 millionth fraction. He literally mouthed the <laughs> entire spoiler to me. That That's not even the entire spoiler. I can, I can really go in depth. And look, he's about to, too, isn't he? Mm-mm. <laughs> so, okay. No. 
Spoilers, though. I... Oh, God, I hate people that... Like, why? Why are you going to be that shitty... How much do you hate your life? you got to ruin that type of shit for, like... Exactly. Nice citizens. So, for me, I... I will delete a motherfucker. I don't care how close we are for the spoiler shit. The last time that it happened for me was uh, Walking Dead. It mm. was one of the big pivotal characters died. And I didn't have cable at the time, so I would have to watch it on... Um, I had one of those sites that... Like, the week after it would post it. It was right. like somewhere German site or something, right? <laughs> so, but at the same time... So, someone posted and spoiled it for me. And I was like, the fuck? Like, why? Why post that? What What do you get out of that? Like... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what a dick. And they were like, well, I mean, you should just stay off social media if you don't want it to get posted. It's like... So, because you're going to be a cunt, I have to stay off of Facebook for a week because I have to wait for that, like... No, just don't be a cunt. Like, right. Don't be a shithead like that. I deleted that person. I have yet to talk to them because... Because <laughs> <laughs> of the walking dead. And that was a long time ago. <laughs> like, yeah, no joke. Like, I like probably if I if I didn't see Avengers and I read his synopsis... Because, man, it was spot on. I, like, I'm scared. Like, I'm wondering if this guy was in the theater with a notepad, like, mm. <laughs> taking notes. Because I'm just like, man, he fucking, like, I could have saved my money and just read his synopsis and understood the movie. Why? I was like, Why man, would he, what, what, I don't what, know. I guess, what, what I guess possess he, a person to want to be that I guess shitty. he was thinking, he goes, oh, this is going to be so fucking funny. Ha, ha, ha. Like, I was like, man, no, you're you're a twat. You're a jerk. Yeah. Like, no. Like, oh, what an asshole. Like, get a life. And, like, <laughs> and, um, and I've been going around, like, I always ask before, I'm like, like, hey, I was like, have you seen have you seen Avengers yet? Oh no, not yet. Please don't. I was like, all right, and I don't talk about it. I'm like, all right, whatever. I'm just like, whatever. I ruined it for one of my buddies because he asked me. He goes, well, you know, who who dies? Who does this? Who does oh, what? Well, fuck, if you're asking for it. And I was just like, no, nah, I don't want to tell you. Just tell me. I'm just going to Google it anyway. I'm just going to Google it. So I did. I did the thing, and he yeah. was all like. Man, what? What? And I was like, they well, yeah. I was like, well, that was your fucking fault. And I was what like, you asked me. And I was to. like, you're the one that said so, pal. And he's like, man, that sucks. And I was like, well, like, there it's you like, go. I didn't want to know if it was them. <laughs> I was just like, sorry, dude. Like, that's what you get. That's yeah. crazy that they did that though, because that franchise was gonna. That's insane. It, it's so there's. Uh, I was like, ah, yeah. there's a bunch of speculation that. It's not like that really didn't happen. Because that's kind of how the movie ends. Uh, but it ends with several of these things. And well, it's like... Have to get into it. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I'm just going to leave it. Like, it's, it's all like, hmm, did that really happen? Hmm, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, and one time, too, for Game of Thrones, maybe I'll ruin something for you now. No. <laughs> You're a dude. Like, I'm, almost, I'm, almost, <laughs> I'm almost caught up. So, um, <laughs> my, one of my friends posted... I, those ones that... Um, where they go, there's so many different types of spoilers, and they have, like, the spoilers on the cars, and then, like, the last frame is a spoiler of whatever. Right. And one of them was a Game of Thrones thing. And thank the God <laughs> that uh, I had seen it, like, the night before where I was like... The Seven Gods? Think the Seven. Yeah, I think the Seven. Uh, that I had seen it before, so I was like, man, they, you know, think I watched it last night, and I wasn't going... I remember being... I didn't think I was going to. I was just going to... Because it was, like, late, and I was like, well, I'll just watch it tomorrow when I, you know, have more time. But I was like, no, I just want to watch it. And it wasn't for spoilers. I was just like, I'm, I just, I got to watch it, because I... It's the next episode again. And then the next day, I was like, man, that would have pissed me off if I hadn't watched it, and I almost didn't watch it. I was like, the ruins the whole fucking But aren't thing. you, aren't you caught up? Or you're talking about when this it was... was yeah, this okay, was at okay. the time. I was like, man, I was like, this whole time I thought you were already cut up, but, um... No, I'm, yeah. I'm, but are you still rewatching it with Mrs. Teach? Yeah, and she actually wants to rewatch it again. <laughs> really? It's, uh, I've gotten Leslie into it. Like, now Leslie will watch it with me, but she gets all like, well, who's this? Well, like, who? I thought this person, I was like, no, babe. I was, she was like, well, they see, this show's too confusing. I'm like, because you started watching in season four. I was oh, like, already so much oh, has happened, yeah, babe. Yeah. I was like, really? I was like, we can rewatch it. I have HBO now. I was like, we can rewatch it from the beginning. Eh, I don't know. So it's funny because for Mrs. Teach, when we first started watching it, I've mentioned this before too, she was like, I was worried. I was like, she's not going to get into it because it's just too, you really have to pay attention. She's not really into that. But the endings always end where you want to see the next. Exactly. Even if you don't That's know what happened to me. I was just like. Yeah, even if you don't know what's who, who's who, you're like, oh, well, fuck. What happened with that? Now I know who they are and. What happened with that? So that hooked her. So she, we watched it through and throughout it. She's like, who is that again? And I'm like, I remember being like, when I first watched her, being like, 
I don't know who that is, but there's moments where I'm like, I forget the names, but I remember yeah. like what family they're associated with. Even so, that. watching it again with her, that was my second time, and I was like, I was able to catch a lot more stuff just because I know the big points now. Right. And so now I can, I know what's coming, so I was able to focus on just little things that I'm like, oh, it's like I didn't even saw that. I don't remember that. It's, so I'm like. For her, I'm like, yeah, if we watch it again, you're going to enjoy it more. It's Because it, it's almost like watching a whole new series. Exactly. Once you watch it, once you know all the big points, now that, like, it really starts getting conducive, and you're like, oh, that's why. Because something, some, some things happen, and you're like, why did that happen? I don't know. And then something happens, you're like, well, whatever. And you throw that away, and you just kind of fold <laughs> it, right? But now, when you watch it the second time, when you already know the big, you know, uh, jaw droppers, and you're like... Oh, that's why this worked that way, and that's where that. So even me, I'm like, I bet you a third time. There's probably st- we started watching a third time. We were about halfway through the first season. And I'm like, there's still shit I didn't realize going on. Like I never caught. You know what I mean? Man. Like you know, right? I don't have to rewatch. It's it. such a great fucking series. It, it like, is, dude. I'm to be so, able to do that is. I'm know. so glad I got into the because I I was just putting off Game of Thrones. Everybody, oh, dude, David, watch it, David. Dude, this is right up your alley. And I was like, look, I'm just because I'm a nerd doesn't mean I'm not going to get into this show. All right, right. guys. I was like, just because I do like Lord of the Rings doesn't mean I'm going to like something else that's medieval and magical and stuff. Like, whatever fuck you guys. Right, you did. <laughs> yeah, I got into it, and I was, the first episode where, um, like, God, and again, I don't know if anybody's watching Game of Thrones, where uh, Cersei and Jamie. The first episode. Yeah, the first episode, and, like, Bran's there. Yeah. And they're all like, oh, da 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 Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you like, missed that part? No, I that said oh, that, that was what hooked me. Yeah. I was like, yes. wait. What? Yes. What? So, when I first watched it, too, I didn't even realize the relationship of Jamie and Cersei. Mm-hmm. So, I didn't even realize how fucked up that was. But the aspect of with Bran, what happened there, I was like, oh, what the fuck? Okay, what was that about? And then, like, I was like, okay, next episode. Like, because honestly, I remember watching the first one, I think I was like, yeah, hey, I might have jerked off a couple times and, like, was on, like, playing solitaire on my iPad. And, like, it's like, this is boring. I'm like... Yeah, medieval weird shit. I didn't even realize there was like a parallel universe type of scenario. I thought this was supposed to be like a renaissance thing, like within our world, you know, uh-huh. like the parameters of our world, you know, not anything mythical or like. Any, I, so right. I didn't even know that was a part of it. Like the dragons coming later and all that. <laughs> <laughs> the Targaryens, I mean. Right. There's Crest as the dragon. Exactly. I'm drinking out of a Targaryen cup right now. Yep. So that's yeah, cool. you are. Yeah, you are. And, um,. So yeah, it's a great fucking series. It is. Do yourself a, a kindness and fucking watch it. Dude, yeah. it, it's worth the hour. It, it, and the oh. hours go by so fast. Oh, like. so fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I started watching it again. Cause I watched it all the way. I, had, I binge watched a few seasons that were available. I think I started watching around season four or five maybe. So I had like the four seasons to like just binge, and I did, and then I had to. I've been having to watch it just as they come. Mm-hmm. Um, I was going somewhere with that. I don't know. I was like, oh, I had, oh, okay. oh, okay. So I had to, you know, I whatever. So I had been watching it consistently since about the fourth season or so, um, but only once through. You know, I binged the first four seasons, and I just been consistently watching. So then, when Mrs. Teach, when I knew that it was gonna be like this year hiatus for like the last season, I was like. I'm going to rewatch them all, like, as a way right. to kind of fill in this. And I thought, okay, if I bring it, if I would just watch them on my own, I had an ulterior motive to get her into it. Because I was like, if I watch them on my own, I'm going to just run through them, like, because mm-hmm. I know I love them, and I'm just going to be like, babe, leave me alone. I'm watching Game of Thrones. So I was like, let me get her in it, because I know she's not going to be up for it. As Like, even if I can get her into it, she can't, she doesn't stay up for so Like, she'll kind of help roadblock me a little bit and make it stretch for the year right she got into it too we were watching two or three episodes a night you know yeah. 2 a.m we're like oh fuck and like it's like ding, 20 ding, minutes ding, ding, ding. 20 minutes into it we're like left to like the third episode we're watching for the night it's like 2 a.m we gotta wake up at six and we're like oh fuck well okay whatever i don't care make coffee in the morning because you gotta <laughs> finish it like we ran through it way quicker than i thought i thought we were gonna use a good portion of the year to finish it right we're, we were done we're rewatching it again <laughs> like see what happens a lot with leslie and i is that um we'll start a show together and if one of us doesn't like it the other will just just keep going with it but yeah. then the other one will still keep checking on it periodically the oh, show okay. called the shield 
It was an old FX show. Do you remember that show? Yeah, uh huh. So, um. It was a cop show, isn't it? Yeah, with Mike Chiklis. Mm hmm. And it was like, kind of like this, like, this, like, squad, and they're like. I like the old FX. Played by their own that rules. Time FX was. Because they, so they, had, they, had, they had that Rescue Me, uh -huh, Nip, Nip Tuck. Tuck. Yeah. Um. Nip Tuck was my show. I bought all those things. I remember you talking about that, yeah. yeah. And yeah. show tits and stuff. Uh, and right. like, um, yeah, like, um. Well, they don't, but. Oh, they don't? I thought you said they did. No, it's FX. I don't um, think so. Well, I was watching, I've been watching Atlanta, and they've showed a pair of titties. On um, FX? Yeah. It's an FX. Maybe I, I thought, I got me fucked up now, because. I don't know. And they also cuss a lot on that show in Atlanta, and they show it on TV. And, because they would show it after 10. Oh, really? They would come out, like, at 10 a.m., I mean, 10 p.m. So far, the only thing I've seen they've censored in Atlanta is just a, a dick. Hmm. And now I'm like, do they show it? Or maybe it's just a different time. No, because it would be it would have been less progressive than now. I don't know, but there's a there's enough raunchy shit that you feel like you see a pair of tits, mm. but I don't think you really do. Or maybe you said side boob. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. You said. I mean, there's like a lot of sex scenes, but you don't see. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna get skin. You see a lot of skin, but I don't think they ever really do show full. Tit. I, I'll rewatch it again. I don't know. Right. I'll figure it out. He goes, I'll, 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 I won't mind what I watch it. <laughs> but yeah, but The Shield, so Leslie and I both got into it in like the first At episode. First. Yeah, and so the first episode, she's like, oh wow. But then like we would wait to watch it, and then um, she'd be like, well, nah, he goes, ah, this is kind of boring. I don't like the storyline. So I would keep watching, and then she would come in later. Well, what happened? And this is not tell her, well, why are you watching without me? Da, da, da. And we'll, ah, whatever. <laughs> so like, and then with How I Met Your Mother, we both got into that one. Um, which I love that show, but then I kind of started getting off of it, but she finished it before me uh, and and then she ruined that show for me before I finished it. And, and what's like, the one she ran through? We all got in a fight. Stranger Things. Have you seen it since? You I started, I started it? watching it cause I was like, all right, fine. Let me get over it. But yeah. now the show's just not, I don't think it's all that. What, did you ever get into 13 reasons why? Fuck no. <laughs> fuck that show. I don't give a fuck about teenage suicide. <laughs> fuck that bullshit. Yeah. God, no. I was I watched an episode with Leslie and I was like, this is the stupidest fucking shit I've ever seen in my whole life. I was like, this is so juvenile. This is for teenagers. I was like, this is stupid. I was like, this is fucking lame. I was like, fuck Hannah. Fuck her and fuck this douche this guy oh, I have to listen to the tape oh oh this guy raped her oh oh I mean you could do that to any movie yeah. well yeah you could <laughs> it's just like oh no that show is so stupid oh this show is so emotional the stupid show This Is Us fuck that show I hope oh, everybody dies on that show <laughs> oh my god like this I can't a... get into emotional shows Mrs. Teach is trying to get me to This Is Us and I think it could be I, we have to watch it on Hulu though and I I can't do Hulu because I'm like I don't like the commercials. Like, you guys don't have the commercial free? No, because I refuse to pay extra for it. Oh, well, like, <laughs> I paid extra for it because I I couldn't stand the commercials. How much is it with the without the commercials? Without the commercials, eleven bucks for just a standard Hulu. Well, and the thing bucks. is to up that I don't watch anything on Hulu, and the only thing that now that we kind of went to is This Is Us, but. I feel like I could... I like them. I liked 13 Reasons Why, too, myself. Even though I can recognize what you're coming from. But I... I it, yeah, that fucks with me sometimes. And so, like, the new one... There's a second one coming out, though. Yeah. That I saw Leslie post, but I'm like... Uh... Okay, that might ruin it for me, because... The way it worked, it ended. You know, they didn't wasn't leave it... Like, yeah, that wasn't like 13 tapes. They didn't leave it open-ended, where, like, there was this mystery towards the end or something that you're like oh shit like what else is there to uncover they ended it and now they're just kind of going like hey that made some money actually maybe we can do this it's like maybe I, there's another box of tapes right that, maybe no. we could kind of play with this scenario it's like ah, eh, no see i'm always gonna be thinking about that now like they didn't if that was their intention in the beginning it should have been ended like that and it right wasn't. so the same with like um uh breaking bad I know I never got into that show. Well, and it's that one is a thinker. Like I know Mrs. Cheese, I could never get her into it because there's a lot of filler episodes mm. where myself I can endure that for the right. bigger plot. But Mrs. Cheese is very like if there's that one filler episode where it just nothing's going on, it's just kind of tying things together for the next episode. She's gonna drop it. So I'm like, anyways, the way that ended, it ended. And there's been talk about bring, 
bringing back the series and that like, this things could have happened. I'm and like Breaking Bad. Uh huh. There's been talk about it. Mm. You know, because uh, I thought that's what we were doing. Better Call Saul, kind of like the behind the scenes. Well, that stuff. was yeah, yeah. But they were saying that there's like this conspiracy of what really happened. You know, it something happened, and but you never, you know, you don't see the person in a casket or whatever. So, mm. but show me the body. Duh! Right, yeah. <laughs> it reminds me of the last, the last episode. Yeah, God, that's fucked up too. <laughs> you know, I realize how many times in the episode I go, "I'll post it," and I never fucking. <laughs> yeah, you say, "I'll send you the link." Like, there's so many links. Teach still hasn't sent me. I'll send it to you after the show. That's and then very. It's like, um, that's how I am as a student, as well as it probably will be as a teacher. <laughs> like, yeah, I'll put it in the grade. I'll tomorrow. post it later. That never fucking happens. That's how my teachers are right now. So. <laughs> um. So Breaking Bad, so they never saw a body or something. Yeah, well, just, so, yeah. So there's been talk about how they could do this, and then it's like, if they brought it back, that would piss me off. I don't know, revival shows, I'm kind of getting, eh, kind of getting sick of. No, yeah, like, Will just and Grace, have it be a good show and end it. Like, right? just let it bow out gracefully. Like, like, fucking, okay, so, Will and Grace. Oh, we brought back Will and Grace. I liked that show. Yeah, it was a good show. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's that kind of comedy though, with the laugh reel, and you know, it's a it's a lighthearted kind yeah. of thing. So they did the whole the the reunion season. Yay! I congrats. don't think I, I wanted to watch. I never did. I never I never watched it. I mean, I wasn't the biggest Will and Grace fan. I I tolerated well, I it because too. it came on before Friends. I my think. parents used to watch it. Yeah, so my parents used on. to watch it too. Um, so I was like, okay, whatever. Now you know. So then ABC, because that was NBC, and ABC's like, hmm, how do we get our hands in the pot here? Yeah. Roseanne, like, let's bring back Roseanne. You know I like the new Roseanne. Though. I haven't seen it yet. I like it. I, like, I like. Oh. I love the old. I I watch Re- Roseanne was funny. I was like, I really enjoyed the show, but um, yeah. and it's like I don't know. And then like now they're in talks of bringing back old NBC shows. I've read rumors they're going to bring back Wings. Do you remember <laughs> oh that my show? God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're talking about well, bringing back Wings. Oh my god! And then um, they're talking about bringing back The Office, and I'm like, no, leave The Office alone. I, I might take The Office. Well, right, I would watch it, but it's like we don't need to Wings. That's like bringing back Mash or like yes, Cheers like, or something. Like what? Like, they're not even like oh, our generation is even. For, I, I think the two old people from the airport are dead <laughs> okay. in real life. For uh, us that know Wings, for. One of us in our generation that knows Wings, 200 people have no idea what Exactly, that is. exactly. <laughs> They're probably be like, what? What the fuck is Wings? <laughs> or like, and also, too, the West Wing is talking about being bringing back. Uh, what? And I'm like, yeah, like fucking nonsensical shows. And that, it's like, yeah. CBS is trying to think, hmm, what could we bring back? Like, fucking. So, no, just make new fucking shows. Because of how, how many views that uh, right. Will and Grace well, got. <sighs> They play to the masses that they'll watch it, but if they don't have quality content, people fall off. And then you're left with a bad taste in your mouth for that, you know, that, um, what's it called? Not genre, but that, uh, that, what's the word? Words? Words? Words. Words. Come to me. Franchise. Okay. That franchise, right? So, like, so Roseanne, um, coming, so Roseanne has a place in my heart because I was a kid when that, and I remember watching it just, like, Stayed over at my cousin's place and my aunt had it on and we would just watch it. So like it's nostalgic for me. So like on Saturdays when it comes on on TV Land or whatever, and when I used to not have to do shit on Saturdays, I would just sit on the couch and watch it. And Mrs. Teacher would be like, "Oh my god, you're watching Roseanne all day." And I'm like, "Yeah, I fucking like the show. Like I just want to veg on the couch and watch it. It's nostalgic." When they come back with it, I was worried because if it sucks, that makes me not like Roseanne now. But then now it's it changes weird because it. with Roseanne, John Goodman's character dies. Well, they did do it actually kind of tactfully of how it came back. Really? Tell me. I, I don't... Because mm. I'm, I, I'm probably not going to get around to watching so, it. So. so, yeah. So, in the end of Roseanne, John Goodman's character dies and the whole aspect of that whole part, that whole season where she wins the lottery. So, the last season is they the family wins the lottery and becomes like rich white trash. And it's a really weird season because they're being really lofty. It just doesn't make sense because the whole season is that they're poor white trash. Right. Um, and they just kind of make ends meet and it's very like conducive to America at the time, blah, blah, blah. But they make it and blah, blah, blah. Well, at the end, John Goodman dies and it's kind of a tell-all for Roseanne, the real character of Roseanne, um, where she's saying he actually dies and we never did win the lottery. And that's... It was kind of a... It was a weird episode too because... It ends. Um, not only is it the character saying that the character of Roseanne starts writing 
because he dies, they don't win the lottery. It's kind of like her way of like dealing, coping with the pain. Mm -hmm. So John Goodman dies, she starts writing, well, what if he doesn't die and we, she's writing about it, how we would have lived, you know? And then it also kind of brings in the aspect of Roseanne, the person, like the actress. Roseanne uh, Barr. Her real uh, person, where she starts saying, you know, Becky was actually the two uh, boyfriends that was married to Becky and then the boyfriend married to uh, Darlene. Mm-hmm. In real life, they were switched. Those two boyfriends were actually in her real life for her two daughters. For the, But she always wanted them. She always thought that they were better for the other daughter. Okay. So that's why that's in there as the series, right? And, um, you know, DJ's this and all in her... Uh, and Aunt Jackie was actually a lesbian... But she always thought that that was too much or something, so she just had to write it so that she never could meet a guy. Stuff like that, right? Right. And it, it actually was a good episode at the end, and she just ends. It's back to her in the, that regular the way that house was before the lottery with all the stuff around. Right. So when they come back, though, the first thing was they wake up. John Goodman wakes up and goes, "I had the craziest dream. You wrote a book about writing the lottery, and then I died." And then Roseanne looks over and goes, oh, shut the hell, you know, whatever, like, yeah, that's crazy. So that was, so, so the last season was supposed to be this big pipe dream of Roseanne that ends up really being this big weird dream that John Goodman has for the (laughs) new season. So it actually was, it was satisfying. It wasn't, because I was like, too, I was like, John Goodman dies. How is, how is he going to be part of the cast? Exactly. But the way, I mean, the first thing was they addressed it right off the back, which Mm -hmm. was kind of like, okay, I'll take it. Like, we're like buy it not yeah right. <laughs> okay I guess I mean the whole last season was so weird and like the weird dreams she was having too and what they were doing it was like okay I guess that works like, right alright yeah. satisfied yeah I don't know I with the whole reboots revamps re and, and even in movies too it's like no and what about the Karate Kid they're doing that too Cobra Kai um I don't know I and just they're think, making him the hero yeah they're making uh, Johnny the hero or whatever his name is um yeah, because honestly, because um, we saw them at Alamo City Comic Con a couple years ago. They were, and they were both at like a booth next Did to they each tell other. You about their plans? No. But it's just like, <laughs> they just looked like they were just so desperate for money because a lot of these things, a lot of these Comic Cons, like these smaller, like small city Comic Cons and like these medium sized Comic Cons, it just brings out old actors who aren't doing nothing. Oh, yeah. It, it brings out comic book artists. You but know? there's people that. Are into that, so they yeah. yeah. But you know, but then to like to take a picture with them to get an autograph, they charge so much money, and that money just goes into the pocket of the person. You know, yeah, sure the the Comic Con gets a little bit of that money, but a, bo- a bulk of that money goes straight to the to the guests that they bring out. The actor. Yeah, because is that a, a problem? Of, it's not that it's a problem, but it's just like that's all they have. So then it's like I guarantee you some because it's it's a Cobra Kai is a YouTube show. So I guarantee you some little, like, 20-year-old something punk, hey, I really like uh, the Karate Kid movies, and I have a really good idea, like, what if Ralph Macchio became a car salesman, and he just lives off of the fame from the Karate Kid when he kicked your ass, and, like, and then what if you, like, I want to be a better person, and they're like, uh, how much is this going to pay? This much. All right, we'll do it. Like, I just think they're doing it for money. Like, you I know, agree. It's like, I, and this is not worth the time. Yeah. Like, God, uh, like... Leave leave alone as alone. They they already know what the stupid Jackie Chan and um, Jaden Smith movie, The Karate Kid. That movie fucking bombed. So it's like, I like that movie. really, it's like, well, well, it bombed financially. I've uh, never seen it because I was like, you I never know, saw it. I'm not. I'm gonna watch. I watched yeah, the original movie. So I was, I was like, yeah. So I was like, I don't know what. But it bombed in theaters. You know. I like how they changed the um, because it was Chinese. So they they did a good job of that though. Okay. You know, like. They didn't do the wax on, wax off Japanese style. They wax did, on. Wax right? On. They did the coat thing. It was more like Tai Chi versus karate, and I, I thought it was clever. Uh, I I do tend to find nuance, pick up nuances and stuff like that though too. But I'm not I'm not usually into reboots at all because it's like just leave them alone. Like yeah, it, let it bow out gracefully. Like that was you know. Exactly. You know, even, so, like, uh, Mrs. Teach watches those, like, K-dramas, right? And it's always funny how, I, like, K-dramas, they'll have, like, 25 episodes, and they're all, like, an hour each and this and that. Um, and they'll do really good in their country or whatever. Like, people, like, really get invested in it. But you never see a, a second season. There's always one season. It's 20 episodes or so, 15 to 25 episodes of this one story, 
then it's done. That's it. They never do like the second season of where they're at now. You know, like us, everything is seasons, like 10, 12 seasons, like Soprano, Sex and the City, Friends, Scrubs, you know, it goes season every year, you know. Meanwhile, you could probably do this story really conducively and really bring it in and be a really good job just in like 15 to 25 episodes. Because even Friends and Scrubs, like 10 years after, it's like a totally different cast, you know, they have mm-hmm. to... And they do a good, and those are, they did good of how to do that, but some of them really fuck up. (laughs) Like, you know, that last season, it's like, God, this is just god awful. Like, the last season of Scrubs, I, that's, oh God, the last, the medical school one. You know, it's funny because I literally block it out. I don't even, I don't recognize, recognize, I recognize the last season is the season before the med school. He literally walks through the, the hospital and sees every person and he w- they watch that video at the end with the giant white screen right. where he sees him Turk, Carla and uh-huh. Elliot and, and Dr. Cox with yeah. their kids and yeah. the jerseys and everything like like I, I don't know I'm just like that was a be- oh, and I cried so hard on that episode oh, I yeah, love it so, so much um, it took it off Netflix yeah well it's like um, my dad has uh, my parents have all the seasons on DVD uh-huh. including that what last that? season I wouldn't buy that last one I, I don't even I don't my dad's one of those where like he has to complete no, it so. I ref- it's funny because I don't even recognize it so I forget that there's that last season to <laughs> fuck it up like Dave Franco where Dave Franco got to start yeah uh huh um fucking um what me like th- honestly the only episodes I like out of that s- season is the ones where JD and Turk are the reunited. first two <laughs> yeah right. so it's like but other than that it's like eh Dr. Cox has gone soft. Dr. Kelso's all, oh, I'm enjoying retirement. Ha, ha, ha. You know what I mean? It's like... Which was already played because the last two seasons of this... He was he's retired. already retired. Exactly. Like, so just like... Damn it, now I want to watch Scrubs so I love bad. Scrubs. I can't do this all on I'm my own. Oh, no, I know. I'm no Superman. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> I'm no Superman. Man, that oh, was like... God. I love that show, bro. That is like... I just I I relate to JD so much. Like he's so neurotic in his head about every little thing and like all the scenarios. I'm like, yep. That's I love exactly his little fantasies how, and everything. That's like, exactly how I think about shit. Like you know, exactly, exactly. Oh man, I just like the. Uh, I it's uh, it's in season one. It's when uh, JD uh, his appendix bursts, and he's all like, uh, he thinks his Turk as one of the guys from Fat Albert. And oh. he's like, you like school in July, no class. And JD looks and they're all, ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. they're all going nuts. That cast is so good. Too. It's just I so mean, perfect. Bill Lawrence, the creator of that show, fucking thank you, Bill Lawrence. They're oh, my so God. conducive to each other. They're, I mean, the actor, the writing was awesome, and the actors to play the writing, I mean, they. They all mesh Not well. Down. They work so well. JD and the janitor's relationship. Uh, the janitor. Oh my Neil god. Neil Flynn. Oh my god. That. I, so you know, I don't know if you know this, but Bill Lawrence, the creator, he's actually married to uh, Jordan Cox in real life. The actress that played. Oh Dr. really? Cox's wife. Oh. Yeah, they're married in real life. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, because I, I watched always the behind the scenes stuff. Because um, I heard the that the janitor never had a script. He just always came up off the fly with it. A lot of his insults were yeah were improvised. That's fucking hilarious. You know what I do with Mr. Teach sometimes? Uh, like we'll be laying in bed or just watching this stupid show, or we'll probably be on our iPads or whatever, just not even talking. I'll go, like I'll grab her hand to shake her hand. And I'm like. Yeah, saw some wood. Saw some wood. Stupid. Let's move it. Let's, let's mix it up. Let's mix it up. <laughs> yeah, that's the janitor with JD, where, where he's like, how long are you going to, you know, because like, they shook hands. Do something finally. weird. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, man. God, it's such a great show. Yeah, if you haven't seen Scrubs, watch it. Watch it. Oops. One of my favorite fantasies is where um, JD has it with uh, Turk, and he's Robin. He's like, why am I the sidekick in my fantasy? Holy, uh, good. Confidence complex, Batman. <laughs> Hopefully, inferiority complex, Batman. Inferior, yeah. He's that's like, what it was. Why, how, why am I so uh, self insecure that and I, I make myself? Alfred. And he's all like, "Damn you, sir." <laughs> <laughs> he goes, "It could be worse. It could be worse, Robin. You could be the butler." Yeah. And Damn comes you, Alfred. sir. <laughs> that line cracked me up so right, much. Now I gotta look it. up how much the discography is of the. <laughs> Do you call it a discography for DVDs too? I just say the series. I guess it would still be because it's discography, the yeah. entirety of discs. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't describe. But I usually connotate discography with CDs, though. But yeah, who uses CDs anymore? I unfortunately can't. I still bought CDs when I had a car with a CD player, but I used to 
it burns so many CDs. Right, me too. I'm only scared because uh, the new Tool album is supposed to be coming out soon, and um, they don't they don't want their music on streaming sites like iTunes and Spotify. So if new album comes out, I'm fucked, and I'll never be able to hear it unless I just YouTube it because they're not going to post their stuff on Spotify and iTunes. That's fucked up. If you look on, if you go to Amazon Music, iTunes, Spotify, um, there's no tool that you could just stream. I guess discography isn't the right term, because it's giving me all these like CDs. I'm telling you, look up Scrubs entire series or entire collection. Oh, I looked up Scrubs and now it's just giving me like Scrubs. <laughs> <laughs> man, series of complete set. Yeah, it's like man, an hour and a half, hour twenty nine. You know what's funny? So, um, you guys may, unless you guys really pay attention that much to the show. $200? God damn. For the everything? What are you looking on, Amazon? Yeah. Oh. It looks like it's like, does everything with suck your dick, though. But, like, you get your own scrubs and <laughs> right. your own syringes. Fucking, um, yeah, um, I was gonna say, so, yeah, so with the episode, um, uh, it was funny because when listening to it straight through with no edits or nothing, when I say, like, oh, we're at, like, the 59-minute mark, um... It makes sense because we're at the 59-minute mark. But then when I edit it, the 59-minute mark is actually like the 50-something minute mark. So it's like it's earlier than oh. – <laughs> So it's like because I'm like, damn. I was like – And then I was really thinking. I was like, man, I cut out four fucking minutes of content. <laughs> like holy crap. Do you really? Yeah. It's like um, – well, for that specific episode, it's really not a lot. But we had a lot of blunders last week. Mm. Um, I know I, I was already pretty drunk because we took that shot. That's what it was. We took a shot right before we recorded. And that then that 70s pounded. show, you can get the complete series for twenty six dollars. <laughs> well, that one, that show was on Netflix. The yeah. complete series is on Netflix. So I guess they took it off Netflix and then went up. Well, I, Scrubs should be on Hulu, and that should be commercial free because it's already an old show. I thought Hulu always had. No, for don't for, you play with my emotions? For for anything that's current on TV, they'll show commercials for. But anything that is already completed, they won't show commercials. Because I remember that's how I, I would I watch... Get, I gotta get back into Hulu. <laughs> right. Because I would watch Dragon Ball Z all the time on Hulu because it was already a completed show. I never got any commercials. I am going to stay up all night and watch Scrubs. <laughs> right. <laughs> bing, 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 bing. Man. I don't know. I'm pretty tapped out on stuff. Um, oh, yeah. It's like, I've been checked out for a while. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I was kind of hoping you would leave already. So I fucking... So this guy... Um, Mezzanin was like, hey, you know, are you ready? He goes, yeah, just, you know, I'm taking a shit. Just come on in. Uh, <laughs> set up the room. And I'm like, okay. Uh, that was bad, yeah. So I was like, okay, so I, you know, we recorded in his, uh, you know, his little second bedroom here, second room, and I, I walk in, and the table that we put all our shit on, there's a bunch of shit on the table. So I was like. Yeah, all my shit on here. Like, I was like, oh, okay. A lot of shit. And there's binders, there's books. He has his, um, I'm, I'm assuming is that calligraphy set or whatever that thing with ink in it is yeah um he has a bunch of stuff and i'm like oh no i was like i i, <laughs> I was like i don't know if this is for something i'm for, in charge of setting this up now i was like oh uh, i was like i don't know if it's anything for uh you know your 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 buddhist thing you know for uh, shambhala because i mean i saw the books that say shambhala on them and i see envelopes i see little trinkets out and i'm like oh no i was like i really don't want to like fuck something up so i put everything on his little table and then um and he's still taking a shit all while I'm doing this and I just felt weird walking in like, Oh hello, like like I'm here. Um and so he goes in and I was like, Oh yeah, so I don't know what to do with all this stuff, I just put it over here. He goes, Oh, you didn't have to pick all all that stuff. I was like, Oh well, thanks. Well, <laughs> I okay. What I was gonna pick all this stuff up when we got in here. When you messaged me, I was smoking a cigarette and you were like, Are you ready? I was like, Oh yeah, and then you were like, Okay, and I was like, Oh fuck, I gotta take a shit. And I was like, I need to take it right now, though. And I just unlocked the door, and I thought... When I said... Okay, so I was like... But he can just come in and go to the room. And I, I, I was trying to be funny, like, set up, like... Because you, we just sit down and we just turn your phone on. Exactly. So let's, you know, get, go just let yourself in and set up in the room. You know, turn the phone on, lay it down. Not realizing that that kind of does sound like... Make room for one of our shit. <laughs> <laughs> So next time in advance, don't you don't have to pick up any Nah, I'll clean up. I don't yeah. mind. I was like, uh, you host it every week, so I, I really love <laughs> it. It totally, to like, it's always here. It would be kind of rich to your place now, I feel like. What? It's funny because, um, so I, I like to think that this podcast will become very successful one day. 
Um, you know, and then I always think like, um, cause people from podcasts, you know, they like some podcasts, they'll like film like actual video when they're recording. Mm-hmm. Plus, I don't think we'll ever get to that point. Like, um, but you know, like you see who's actually talking and stuff. And like, sometimes they make like guest appearances at comic cons and like mm-hmm. this, this and that. So I'm like, man, what if me and teach get famous one day? You know, and like we make money off of this or, you know, you just become like a really successful podcast. <laughs> we have a like a huge fan base. It's like, what if we get called to like a little expo or something? It's like, is Teach just going to show up? No one's going to know his name. You know what I thought about actually is that I probably would have to bow out. <laughs> like you'd have to find another co-host. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, probably. Oh, I don't think I could do this with anybody else. Well, you probably could find someone. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> Because then I want to be, who cares with David Clarence to teach? Or I can wear one of those, like, green masks. <laughs> With, like, a hole for a straw for my drink. I would always imagine, like, I'd be sitting facing the crowd and you'd be facing that way. And we just see the just back. backwards. <laughs> <laughs> but you still have a microphone and you're talking. And then, like, the whole room would have to, like, vacate before we get up and leave. <laughs> you know, and I've always thought if you wanted to do, like, the live posts, too, we could. We would just... Face, I would just, the laptop would be here facing you and I would just be on this side. Just right. talking, you know, so. Put a stand, like, put a, like, cardboard cutout, cardboard cutout, like, and then just, <laughs> you're behind it all. Yeah, you know, so, uh, when we get there, we'll get there. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when, uh, when we get famous, so. Right. If you guys keep up what you're doing, sharing the show, listening to it, um, Maybe one day we'll get there, you know? Mm-hmm. I just wish I could see how many views we get on iTunes and Google Music and stuff. Um, it just mm-hmm. doesn't show me that. How does that work with Google Music? Because I like listening to it on Google Music because I can turn my phone off more or less. Like, I can play it. Like, YouTube, I have to turn the light off and, like, and then, it'll, like, it'll stop because it'll hit my leg the weird way right. and I have to keep doing it. But it always does take, a, like, a day or so. So, yeah. So, my process, and this is really, I'm pretty sure there's an easier way, but I haven't figured it out yet. Um, you know, I edit it in Windows Movie Maker, mm-hmm. save that, and that takes a few hours to render, and then I have to upload it to YouTube, upload that to YouTube, so then from, I copy the URL from YouTube, I put it into one of those YouTube to MP3 converters, mm-hmm. <laughs> I put it into that, download it back to the computer, Gosh. and then from that, I go to podcast.com, because that's our RSS URL host, Right. upload it to podcast.com. And there's no limit on that one? No, podcast.com, it's free, it's fucking whatever, post as much as you want. So, post it to podcast.com, and then iTunes and Google Music automatically refresh when the, like, because they automatically refresh the URL every day. Right, you just have to upload it to there. Just upload to podcast.com. So it's on their time when it shows up, though. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. So, so right now, it's up to episode 19 on Google Music and iTunes. Um, when I do, so I kind of like doing the whole two episodes at a time. That's kind of the trend that I've been doing now. Mm. So probably when this one gets posted and uploaded, I'll do. <laughs> It'll be me. next week. <laughs> Cause you've already posted 19 and 20. This is 21. Well, night. So I'll be posting 20 and 21. I'll probably do it by the end of this 20's week. 20 is already out. But it's not on iTunes. Oh, you haven't put it on the podcast. Okay. Yeah. Put, oh, it's just, yeah. just YouTube. Mm-hmm. I was because I listened to twenty today. Because so. that's what I'm saying. I was like, I wish I could find a way to post it to iTunes and Google Music first, and then post it to YouTube. Like I would like, I would prefer to have the YouTube be the well, one that the takes forever. Well, the YouTube thing is that's separate, right? You're you're just doing that separate. What do you mean? Like so, when you do everything that you can post it, you're just uploading to YouTube and to the podcast dot com, right? No. When you post it to podcast.com, it goes to YouTube first and then takes a while? No, it goes to YouTube first. Uh-huh. And then I have to I have to do go to some shady third party website to download the the YouTube video as an MP3. Oh. So I have to download that as an audio file, then I have to go to podcast.com to upload I the audio you took file. This right here. You can't take this and put it on. So so we record on my phone on the voice memo. Yeah. I have to save I have to upload that to Google to the Google Drive. Mm-hmm. And then I have to download it from Google Drive to the computer, to my computer. <laughs> so then, then I have to take the then I have to take the file from the computer, put it into Windows Movie. Is it that computer that you have that that big bulky one? Yeah, because modern day computers don't have Windows Movie Maker anymore. <laughs> and so, um, so I take it from the my Who Cares folder. I take the audio, put it into Windows Movie Maker, edit it, add the theme song, da 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 da. Mm-hmm. From there, upload that to YouTube, uh-huh. let that post, and I have to give it about, like, I have, really, I have to give it about, like, 10 hours before it can really download it. I posted it. a, like, sim- the video I did for my little class, 
and it was a seven minute video it took like 20 minutes like <laughs> i was like it's seven minutes how does it take this long like yeah, yeah then so we, post, we, we post hour and a half right. two hour videos right. yeah it takes fucking forever yeah and it's so tedious because then because then i can't so i can go to like if i'm saving it in windows movie maker i can go to bed and then huh. it, it the saving won't interrupt that's usually whenever we're recording the episode saving to windows movie maker because that takes about four to five hours to do because of how long the movies are and how long the videos are so then by the time i get home or by the end if i if we don't record and i'm saving it like in the middle of the week when i wake up the video is ready so that way i can post it to youtube but i can't post i can't have it posting to youtube like if i go to work or something because then when it's done like when it says like done click done to publish your video or whatever and if i don't click it within a timely manner it fucking wipes out at all the progress i just fucking Ugh. made we so that's the thing that takes forever is because it's just like i have to really be sitting and if you let the screensaver go on boom, it wipes out everything it just fucks everything up so mm -hmm. i really have to be sitting there in front of the computer moving the mouse so it doesn't go black so that way I have to wait for fucking everything. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm sure there's an easier way. Yeah, I didn't even know. It's like, but <laughs> it's just so, and I love putting it up because I love the feedback we get, but it's just so tedious. Yeah. That's why it really takes, well, like, some I'll never give you shit again. <laughs> I never like, have to do that shit. So. I was like, it's just so long of a process. But I do it for you fans. I'm, I'm, I do it for the fans. I love. We do it for the vine. Yeah, we do it. <laughs> Do it for the vibe. I ain't, I ain't gonna, gonna do it. Do it for the I ain't gonna do it. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> it. Oh my god. Fine. Rest in peace, buddy. Rip, yeah. So, All right. Well, yeah. let's cut it short so David doesn't have to... A little less time. <laughs> oh my god, no. No, yeah, but um, as always, thank you guys for listening. Keep supporting the show. Thank you, thank you. I've been David Clare. I'm the teach. No. No, don't do it. No, 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 no,